Turning now to campaign 2023 and the race for mayor in Hartford is heating up. Eyewitness News along with CT Insider hosted tonight's debate right here on Channel 3. And Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio is joining us live with the face-off between the three leading candidates. Patricia. Well, this was the only televised debate prior to Tuesday's primary election, and it was held right here at our Channel 3 studios, the three leading candidates standing at these lecterns, and each of them pleading their case as to why they think that they are the best person for the job. With just five days until the Democratic primary election on September 12th, the three leading candidates for Hartford mayor answered questions from panelists and each spoke of their commitment to making Hartford better. Arunan Arulampalam, a businessman who is endorsed by outgoing Mayor Luke Bronin, touted his business acumen as head of the Hartford Land Bank. Where we take Hartford residents, we train them to redevelop those properties, to build wealth, and build businesses off of them and to build home ownership. Eric Coleman, a veteran judge and former state senator, spoke of his reputation as a man of the people dedicated to public service. I've been connected to Hartford for over 50 years. I was married in Hartford. I operate a small business in Hartford. I worship in Hartford. I pay taxes in Hartford. And Senator John Fanfara, who was raised in Hartford, talked about his lifelong love and commitment to the city. What I believe the city needs most, I can't accomplish from where I am, but I believe I can as mayor of this city. Top of mind was Wednesday's death of a Hartford police officer killed in the line of duty. The candidates asked about how they would reduce crime in the capital city. We have to uh, pay our police officers uh, competitive um, rates so that because today we lose so many of our police officers to the suburbs after we train them. I believe there needs to be a partnership between police officers and the communities that they protect and serve. I'm going to create an Office of Violence Prevention to, to coordinate resources between our nonprofits, our police, and our schools. I'm going to have cops walking a beat again, building relationships in the community. Another key topic, lack of affordable housing. Going after those out-of-state slumlords, taking over those properties, using tools that we already have, using our blight liens and our tax liens, and putting them in the hands of Hartford residents. There are units that are in bad shape. We need to have quick, rapid response to address properties that are blighted. Utilizing the process of eminent domain to take property that has been neglected by absentee out-of-state slumlords. So to be clear, Tuesday is the Democratic primary, that is September 12th, but then Election Day itself is November 7th. Live in the Channel 3 studios, I'm Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Patricia, thank you.